got your G9 monitor home and you're very excited about the whole thing. You've taken it out of the packing, which uh, in itself is, you know, its own little delight. And you've got it on the desk. You're very excited about it because it looks awesome. And you've gone, oh, I'm going to start using it. So, yeah, okay, nice. Grab me HDMI cable. But, of course... No Mac these days comes with HDMI, does it? No, 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 no. So you've nipped out to the shop, bought yourself one of these little numbers, which converts USB-C to, uh, among other things, HDMI. So you go, oh, that's going to work, isn't it? Plug the little baby in. Plug that baby in. This is going to be interesting with one here. Beautiful. Of course that's going to work. Uh, you spent another few minutes trying to figure out how to turn it on because it wasn't obvious to me when I first looked under, that, under there. And it's going to be magic, isn't it? We're going to choose... Actually, when you first turn it on, it'll be on HDMI. I think I've given part of the game away here. I'm going to choose that one there. We've got HDMI. Beautiful. Of course it's going to work. Oh, no. Wrong colour. It's not good, is it? <laughs> Fear not, there is a solution. Uh, it only took me a week to figure it out. I returned it. Harvey and Norman were very nice to me and allowed me to return it because I had tested it with so many different devices. I plugged this same laptop, the same cables into our Dell downstairs, the ultra wide 5120 by exactly the same resolution basically. Worked first time, perfect. Plugged in another laptop downstairs, that was perfect. Plugged in another laptop, which is downstairs. They were all perfect. The only thing that didn't work is my beautiful new G9, which is now pink. And uh, just to give you a feeling for what that looks like now, is where are we going here? We're going to go somewhere. Yeah. That's the colour it looks like over there. That's the colour it should look like. Something's wrong with that one, little baby, mate. <laughs> Good. So after much um, ado um, and finding another unrelated video about a guy connecting his uh, stuff in, I went, okay, the trick here is not to have two adapters. Maybe it's something to do with the sync rate or, you know, refresh rate or whatever. Um, so I went out and bought, you know, one cable that does both instead of connecting them together. And of course, it uh, didn't work either. Bum. Good news though, you do the other version of the cable because it supports, uh, what's this called? I think it's called DVI, I've never seen it before, but uh, let's call it DVI, whatever that's called. Yeah, Bella's getting excited outside. And um, USB, so I'll come back and show you that. So, we've plugged in the other end of the DVI and we've got a lovely little USB thing here. That's currently plugged into the HDMI through the Wii adapter. And we're going to go unplug that one. Plug in a new one. The other thing to note is that the previous one wouldn't show up as uh, 5120 resolution. So if you're seeing that problem, um, same issue. And we're going to swap over using that little gadget under here. This is confidently. Input select, go to display port. Sorry, display port, not DVI. Using the wrong phrase, sorry guys. Boom. One beautiful monitor on the correct resolution. I hope this helps some people save four or five days that I didn't. Now, the real question is why didn't Samsung, in their infinite wisdom, uh, make the HDMI port work. This laptop works with widescreen downstairs HDMI. It works with my 4K TV downstairs, no problem at all, with that same adapter. So I'm not sure if it's a design fault or whatever, but um, my view is that it should work. Right? Good luck, people.